Cases rise, time is running out on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers are debating a new coronavirus relief package. Unemployment benefits are about to expire for millions of Americans. Skylar Henry has the latest from the White House. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin joined President Trump as he left for Texas and said there is still a lot of negotiating to do with lawmakers on a new coronavirus relief package. As of now, we're very far apart. And because of that, uh, the president and we have discussed a short-term extension to UI. Millions of Americans are set to lose extended unemployment benefits this week if Congress doesn't act. But Republicans have yet to reach a consensus amongst themselves, much less with Democrats. Two senior Republican senators have said that the Republican proposal would be lucky to get even half of the Republican conference to vote for it. The president defended his administration's decision to include nearly $2 billion for a new FBI building as part of the bill. We have that in the bill. It should stay. President Trump also defended his decision to retweet a video promoting the drug hydroxychloroquine. The FDA has warned people against taking it for COVID-19. Twitter, Facebook and YouTube have all deleted the video for making false claims about COVID, including saying there's a cure for the virus and that masks are unnecessary. The doctor in the video has spread other misinformation, like claiming DNA from aliens is used in medical treatments. I was very impressed by her. I know nothing about her. I had never seen her before, but certainly you could put her up and let her have a voice. A new CBS News poll shows President Trump's coronavirus response has not resonated with Americans. 64% of respondents say the U.S. efforts to handle the virus are going badly. 57% say the president specifically is doing a bad job. Skylar Henry, CBS News, the White House.